Okay, so it is now officially bulking season. Most people get their bulks wrong and end up looking like a specimen off of my 600 pound life. So in this video, I'm gonna be teaching you guys how to properly execute a bulk so you put in the maximum amount of muscle with a minimum amount of fat. So the number one thing that most people get wrong is that they just think that a bulk is a bulk, I'm going to eat whatever I want and just eat and eat and eat. And most people just eat garbage during their bulks. They don't eat whole foods, they just eat fast food, they eat junk food, they just decide a calorie is a calorie, I'm gonna eat whatever I want. And the problem with this is that when you have to cut down, you're going to have, have to cut down so much more aggressively and you're gonna lose so much more of your hard-earned muscle. And it's gonna be much more difficult because you have so much more fat and cutting is difficult, especially for a long time. So do not eat whatever you want and just go full sand into a bulk and just eat exorbitant amounts of calories. That is not what you want to do. So what you want to do is just eat whole foods. Make sure that you are eating in a 200 to 300, maybe 400 calorie surplus. It depends on how fast you want to gain weight, but I generally recommend gaining half a pound a week for a lean bulk, maybe a pound, depends on where you're at in your fitness journey. So to calculate how much to be in a calorie surplus by, you need to first calculate what is your maintenance calories? So maintenance calories can generally be calculated by multiplying your body weight by 15. So if you're 200 pounds, your maintenance is around 3000 calories, add 200 to maybe 400 calories on the high side, and that is your lean bulking calories. And another thing that you want to do during lean bulk is keep your protein at one gram per pound of body weight. This will ensure that you're getting maximum protein synthesis, aka muscle gain, and the more protein you eat, the higher your metabolism will be just because when you consume protein, if you consume 100 calories of protein, 20 to 30 calories will be burned off in the digestion process. So eat whole foods, eat a 200 to 400 calorie surplus, eat one gram of protein per pound body weight, and don't just full send this to the bulk. That is not a good idea, bro. You're gonna gain so much fat. You're gonna look like a beluga whale, and you're not gonna like what you look, in the, look like in the mirror because you're not even gonna recognize the person, my brother. Another thing that you want to do is that this is not necessarily nutrition related, but do not ego lift. This is something that I have done in the past and I can guarantee you, bro, nobody cares if you're lifting super, super heavy in the gym. Oftentimes, the biggest guys that you'll actually see in the gym are lifting super light weights. Well, not super light, but moderate weights. And they're doing it with proper form because if you're just swinging around a dumbbell using your whole body, you're going to be not properly targeting the bicep. You're gonna be using a little bit of your back, a little bit of your shoulders, a little bit of all supporting muscles, and you do not wanna be doing that. You wanna be isolating the bicep. Nobody cares how much weight you lift. If you properly execute a movement with proper form and you eat properly, and don't full send your bulk, don't ego lift, you will gain a lot of muscle. Another thing, this is not just for bulking, but make sure that you get your sleep right. Seven to eight hours minimum, seven minimum, eight is what I recommend. Sometimes nine can be good. It depends on your situation and how your body is. But there is a study that I saw, and if you sleep less than seven hours, around six hours, you will gain more fat and you will not retain as much muscle as people who are sleeping eight hours. This was a study during a cut, but anyways, regardless, you are going to retain more muscle when you sleep eight hours. Not only are you gonna retain more muscle, but you're also gonna feel better, you're gonna train better, you're gonna be stronger in the gym because you have more energy and your day-to-day -day tasks are gonna feel so much better. So just to recap everything, do not full send into a bulk, do not eat whatever you want. Make sure that you're eating whole foods and not garbage because when you eat whole foods, it takes more energy for your body to process them. Your metabolism will be faster, which is always a good thing. Eat one gram of protein per pound body weight. This will ensure that you get maximum amounts of muscle gain. And another thing, just what I said like 30 seconds ago, make sure that you're properly sleeping and don't skip out on sleep. Lots of people say, oh, I'll sleep when I'm dead blah, 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 and they just brag about how little sleep they have, and that is not a good thing. Prioritize your sleep. It is so important for your health. So that is my entire video on how to bulk properly. Also, do not ego lift. Make sure that you're executing your exercises with proper technique. Anyways, guys, hopefully you enjoyed this lean bulking tips video, and I hope you guys have a wonderful evening.